Hi everyone, it's Bridget with Bees Alter Designs. I just want to show you, um, not so quickly, but I want to introduce those of you who don't know the Cricut Craft Room. I don't have the luxury of having a gypsy for my Cricut, and I've had my Cricut expression for a couple years now, and um, if probably longer than that, I don't even know. But uh, I, I, don't, I don't use it as much as I should use it, and... I think the reason why is because I couldn't use it as a computer program. Well, I didn't know I couldn't. So I did a little research and I found the Cricut Craft Room. And I absolutely love this. So if you Google Cricut Craft Room, this is a free software. And you can download it to your computer. Um, let me just um, go into it. And that was a picture of my grandson Liam at the ocean. Isn't he just a doll? I just love him. So then you create your, um, you know, you're going to create your account. So. And then I just close out of here because I've already gone through the instructions. Your Cricut has to be on and it has to be plugged into your computer. And all you need is one of those USB wires that you use for a printer. Um, Cricut does sell their own wire, but mine, I think I purchased mine at the dollar store. I really do. Um, it was just an extra one we had in the house and, uh, I used it. It fit into the back of my Cricut. And the reason why I discovered this was because when I looked at the back of my Cricut, I saw the plug-in for a printer cord and I'm like, well, what does this do? And then I got researching it even more because... On, for honestly, I mean the booklets and stuff they send you. I just even the disc. I I don't know. I just didn't get a whole lot out of it. So this is what's going to happen. You can link a Gypsy to this software. Um, I have never used a Gypsy, so I have no idea. I also don't have any idea if um, you know, like if you buy a cartridge at a garage sale or whatever, and people tell you, well, it's been linked to a Gypsy already. I don't know if that's going to affect the Cricut, but what you have to do first is you have to register your cartridges. Um, this isn't a good one to use. You have to register your cartridges on, this is a Cricut cartridge. You have to register this on Cricut.com. You have to register all your cartridges. And I know for some of you, that's probably like millions of cartridges. I've seen some of you out there that have just like, I couldn't even imagine. I, I wouldn't even be, be able to remember what I have. I am just remembering what I have now. And I have, I would say a handful or maybe a dealt 10 of them. But anyway, so you have to register this number on it's cricket.com. Once they get registered, and it takes, you know, a few days for, and it tells you, you can walk right through it, you know, all you have to do is go on cricket.com, you want to look for, I'm not really sure, I don't have that one pulled up, but you just register your cartridges. Once you've got them registered, you can go into Cricut Craft Room, okay, your, your cartridge is loaded, my home decor cartridge is loaded, because that's the one I'm playing with. And over here, you can minimize this. This is your craft mat right here. Okay, I have still yet to figure out which way this, this craft mat, I mean, I assumed that the arrow here was what it is on your craft mat. So, like, I set things up on, on here um, so that, you know, everything, I'm sorry, I'm just moving some things out of the way. Um, I set things up so that it looks like it's going to cut here, and then it goes all the way over to here, and it cuts here. So I think this is flipped, it, to be honest with you. I think, I think, because on your craft mat, one-to-one -one is on your right-hand side when you put the craft mat into the, um, Cricut. But, you know, anyways, that's just something I have, to, I have to play with. And I just use scrap paper to cut the first one. I'm doing, actually, I have the deep, deep, deep blade in there. And I'm doing chipboard right now. So, this down here is your images file. And what you want to do is you want to link your um, images. You want to link your cartridges, whatever cartridges is in there. 
um, you want to link it to the Cricut craft room and it only takes a few seconds so like if you this my home decor is already linked so say Cricut Life it'll come up with all the images on Cricut Life and then you just want to click down here if you can see where it turned green there you just want to click that link and then it will see it tells me it's the wrong cartridge so I can't link that cartridge because that's not what it what is in there so once you've done that then it's permanently linked to your excuse me it's permanently linked to your um, email address that you use when you go into craft room so what I'm using is I'm using home decor and if you this is this arrow says all cartridges or just my cartridges and so I'm going to look for home decor it should be in here um, whoops okay what happened here okay my cartridges so I've only got a few things linked here. I've got the Cricut Craft Room Basics, and that's just what they give you. And every now and then, like Cricut.com will give you a free image, and you can go get that from there through here. So I haven't done that yet. Home decor I have on here. 3D Chinese lanterns. I'm not sure if this is a free. I have not used these yet, but that's good to know that's there. And the 50 states. So most of these are free images. So, you know, and you get um you know, you can just play with that to see. But I'm going to use the home decor right now. Oops. I don't want the states. There we go. <laughs> just took a minute to think so anyway so all the images that are on the cartridge will come up on here so you get to pick and choose where you're gonna put them I suppose it's just like a gypsy like I said I've never used a gypsy before so um, you know I'm, I'm assuming that it works the same way so I want this love I want the love pattern and then I'm just gonna look at this to see um, I want to see how big. That's the only other thing that I've always had trouble with with the Cricut is the measurements on the mat compared to the screen. And I think I don't want this any bigger than five and a half inches. So, and any of you that have used, um, like, any other kind of software um, I'm trying to think of like Coral or um, I guess Coral's a really old one I don't even know if they still use it um, I know I've done some PowerPoint presentations and stuff like that so anything that you've had to use graphics with um, this should come very easy for you so I just want to Let's see. I don't want it any bigger than I just put my here for my little one second. I'm just trying to find my little ruler. I put it somewhere and now I can't find it. So I'll get my big one out again. I'm just going by some other letters that I have. So I don't want it any higher than two and a half. So we're gonna do this. Okay, so say that's what you want, and I'm going to do chipboard. So I'm putting, I would move my camera, but I'll just show you. See, I've got my mat, and I'm putting a piece of chipboard. It's very lightweight chipboard on there. And I'm, and actually, I'm just going to set it in. I'm not going to load it. And then if you go up here to, to um, cut, it's going to ask you down here, if you can see, it's going to ask you to load mat. So your mat gets loaded. And then it tells you 
I have heavy cardstock on here. I want to change it to custom. It's going to tell me to, it's not going, recommended. It tells you all the recommended um, <clears throat> things that you should have on here. Set number of times you want it cut. So that's awesome because you can do a whole bunch. I'm just wondering where my pressure is at. This isn't, I think I've cut. So I'm just going to hit cut. It's going to be a little loud. See now, this on here looks like it's the right side of the mat. So this actually went all the way over. I'll show you when, when it's done. I just think this is a really neat idea because you can put a whole bunch of different things from the same cartridge on one mat and cut them all out at once. Okay, so this is done. We're going to unload the mat. Okay, and I'm not sure how well you're going to see this, but this is my mat. And if you normally put it in the Cricut, it would have, it would have, um, and you did it through the Cricut itself, it would have cut that love over here. But through the craft room, it brought it all the way over to here. So it's actually looking at your mat. This is how you would see your mat. So if you wanted to change that, you can just drag this over to here. You can also rotate it. Um, see, it will rotate to any angle. So you could actually put it in this corner and you could, it's not really straight though. You could cut it out as if your mat, when you put your mat in, you're on this side. But there, it cut out the love, as you can see. And I don't want to try to peel it off that way. So I will try to find, I'll use this spatula. This is a little thin right there and that broke. That's okay, no big deal. My my board is very, very sticky for some reason. And old. Do you need to order new boards? Oh, this little love. Sometimes they're really hard for me to get off of here. I think I'm going to recut this love. But... This probably is not a good example because I had a hard time getting it off the... As you can see, my dress form is back there. I haven't even done anything to it because I was sick with a migraine most of the week and I'm just finally getting back into my craft room. Sorry, totally off the subject. I tend to do that. I think um, I'm debating on what material I'm going to use for it, but I know Tim Holtz came out with his new material and I know that Joann's is selling it so I may just use Tim Holtz I'm not really sure well anyways so and it cut out the love this is not thick enough for me for my project so I know that now and I'm going to cut on a thicker um, cardstock so anyways so I just wanted to show you guys that the Cricut craft room and like it's a free download and, you know, this, this helped me so much out of, you know, like, I thought I was so limited with the Cricut, and I'm not. But, on a more exciting news, has everybody seen the new Cricut that's coming out? They have, I think it's coming out in March. I am super excited about it. I really want it. I'm sure it's going to be, you know, close to $500. But I got an email from Cricut.com about it. And it is going to be, I guess, like the silhouette. I've never used the silhouette before. But it's going to be like, um, you know, you can cut anything. You can draw a design and it will cut it. So hopefully I'll be able to get that. But we'll see. But for now, this works really good, and 
you know, I hope you guys try it. Um, it's worth giving it a shot. So thanks for watching and, and seeing what more you could do with the cricket.